Well, I'm going to start with the overture. It seems like quite a good place to start. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I love that, and I love the whole intermission, and it mm. looked incredible on 70 millimeter. And I was just wondering, was this a conscious decision for you to say, because I mean, with the rise of kind of video on demand services, to say yeah. this is what the cinema can offer people, because it's such a cinematic experience. Yeah, well, you know, there's two different versions of the movie that we're releasing. There's the version you're referring to now, which is the, which is the big road show version, and it plays in cinema, and it's 70 millimeter, and on film, and has the overture, and it has uh, the intermission, and is a little bit longer. And then, uh, and then there's a, a, another version that plays in the more DCP, and the more, in the more of the malls, and uh, 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 regular theaters, uh, you know, around England, Hammersmith and Liverpool will probably get that version. And, um, and it's just a little shorter, and it doesn't have all that other stuff. And you know, I, you know, I think that's a good version too. Um, in fact, I, a case can be made that uh, without the intermission that the movie could even be more intense because uh, uh, after the big thing that happens at the end of the first half, well, all that next stuff happens right after it. Um, but my feeling about it is that version, look, I, I, I love that version, but that's, you know, that's like a regular movie. You know, you want to go to the movies at night and, and you see that movie or you go on a date and you want to go out to dinner. You see that, you see that movie, you see that version and, and you enjoy it. In the case for me, though, the the road show is what we call it. The road show. That's different. That's like seeing La Boheme at La Scala. That's like going to the West End uh, to see uh, Al Pacino and Iceman Cometh. Uh, that is, you know, if you're going to see the road show version, you're mine. You're not thinking about what you're going to do before, what you're going to do after. You might do something before. You might do something after. But going to see my movie and giving yourself over to it, that is what you're doing that night. And uh, you know, that's kind of how I look at it. And I mean, do you ever sort of fear for the future of cinema and a cinema going experience? I mean, do, and do you think you could ever yourself be tempted into the world of sort of Netflix, Amazon Prime to do a series or anything like that? I'm not really into, um, well, I am worried about uh, um, uh, uh, the future of cinema. Um, I'm not down with films playing video on demand the day they open at movie theaters. And I just feel very lucky that I don't have to play that game, uh, that my movies stand apart from that. Uh, that would be very depressing if, if uh, that was just the way of the world for me. But thankfully, it's not. Um, just, I'm just in a lucky situation that way, because I know a lot of people, that's not the case. Uh, but then the other thing, though, is I, uh, um, uh, I'm not really, and it's just, just who I am. I'm not into any of the the streaming services that you know uh, uh, people watch stuff in now. I, you know, I'm 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 very much. I love my uh, movie channels. I like Showtime and HBO and all those channels. But I actually, my computer isn't hooked up to my TV, and I have no feel no desire to hook my computer up to my television. And I was, I was wondering, I mean, of course, The Hateful Eight, as, as with the majority of your films, they're always in the, the Oscar mix, you know, mm. for the Academy Awards. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, and I was just wondering, I mean, a lot of people play it quite cool and they say they don't really mind, but you obviously, as someone who's very honest, mm -hmm. what does it mean to, to, to win an Oscar, to, to be involved in that conversation? Is that something that does mean quite a lot to filmmakers such as yourself? Well, I mean, people can play it cool, but I mean, I don't think there's anybody that like, you know, it, it means nothing to win an Oscar. It's really cool to win an Oscar. It's really cool to be nominated. You know, I mean, uh, um, you, you can't take it that seriously because if you go through the history of cinema, you think of all these great movies that weren't even nominated. It was almost like they weren't even eligible or, you know, The Wild Bunch wasn't nominated for anything, even though it should have been. Uh, 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 2001 wasn't nominated for Best Picture when it came out, and uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, neither was Good and the Bad and the Ugly. So you can't take it that seriously. However, having said that, it's really kind of cool. You know, it's always fun to be recognized by your peers because that is what it is. There's a lot of prognosticators saying this or that and the other, but at the end of the day, the votes are by your peers, and you know, and it's a big party, and you're invited to the party, and you get to enjoy your party, and it also. It's like you know, if your movie is a car moving along the way, well, now your gas tank is just full of high octane. So screenplay or director, if you had to choose? Well, the way I look at it is like this. If you're going to win, like I've been watching the Academy Awards since I was seven. And in every case, 
with the with a few exceptions. All right, the director is usually the winner of the best picture, best director, and usually one of the best actors, and something else really big. So it's always about a sweep. Yeah. So I'd have to make a movie that is going to is and it's just a sweep. And however that ha happens, any year is how it ends up happening. Um, screenplay doesn't always have to be part of a sweep, and I don't. I just I don't have any luck, I think, that I'm, I'm going to make a movie that's just going to be sweeping stuff. However, I feel pretty excited about the fact that, look, I've, I've won two original screenplay Oscars. So far, there's only five people in the history of Hollywood that have won five original screenplay Oscars. And you're literally talking about people like Patty Chayefsky and Billy Wilder and Woody Allen and literally the best writers uh, in the history of Hollywood. So that's a really lovely thing. However, Woody Allen has won more than anybody else. He's won three original screenplay Oscars. If I win a third, I tie him. And so that would be really, really cool. Yeah, that would be. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It's uh, my pleasure, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!